So Warehouse Speakers has been on my radar for a little while. Uh, if anyone isn't familiar with Warehouse, they're an American company that makes some really, really cool guitar speakers. And frankly, I don't see enough people talking about them or using them really. Uh, so I hit them up asking if I could borrow one of the more metal speakers, uh, the Reaper, specifically the Reaper HP, the high powered version. And that's because it can handle up to 50 watts, whereas the regular Reaper only handles 30. And this one's supposed to be kind of more of a balls out, more extreme version of the Reaper. And that's the one that we want. Now this speaker is really cool. It's one of the more unique ones I've ever used. It's definitely like you couldn't describe it as a V30 for sure. Uh, it's super wide, like it's kind of everything a V30 is not in a lot of ways. Like it's wide, it's not mid focused. Uh, it has a lot of top in. Uh, it's very tight on the low end while still remaining full. Um, it, it sits well in a mix, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it's not super cutting. It doesn't have a ton of mid range, um, but it's not all that scooped either. It's just really balanced, really wide and balanced sounding, if that makes sense. So we're gonna have this in and out of a mix. I'm gonna mic it with a Shure SM57, and I also have a Golden Age Project R2 Mark II ribbon microphone, and that's just gonna kind of fill out the low end, and we're gonna blend between those. So we're gonna hear the in and out of a mix. Let's check it out. So yeah, as you can hear, really wide. It's definitely got its own thing going on. You definitely couldn't compare it to say a V30. Um, definitely not mid focus, but also not scooped at all. And I think these are pretty cool. I definitely think people could get some interesting sounds of these, especially with combinations between these and other speakers inside of cabinets. They have a lot of cool stuff to offer. Their prices are really good. And like I said, they're an American company, American made speakers. So. I would say check them out. Like I said, not enough people know about Warehouse and I don't see them talked about. And I think that's kind of a shame. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay metal.